Okay, hi there. This is Amy with amyeverafter.com and I'm going to show you the Facebook Like Inviter Chrome extension, which I purchased this morning. If you want the whole story on this, you can go to amyeverafter.com, my blog, and I'll put a link to this particular post in the description for this video. So, just to give you a little background, Facebook makes it very easy to invite people to like your Facebook page if they have reacted in some way to one of your posts. So if you post something and somebody likes it or uses the sad reaction or whatever, you can go in and invite them to like your page. It's a really easy, free way to get Facebook likes. And I hardly ever do it because it's just tedious. I should be doing it every morning for just five or 10 minutes, just going through posts and finding people that I haven't invited yet and doing it, but I don't. So I was very excited to find out that there was a way to automate that process. And this is the website, it's fblikeinviter.com. And I should mention that as far as I know, this does not break any Facebook rules. If it did, I would not be using it. I'm a rule follower. But as far as I can tell, it's perfectly kosher to use it with Facebook. It doesn't go into the Facebook API. Um, it, it just automates things that you would be doing. It's just clicking and scrolling for you based on what it can see on the page, not anything like inside Facebook. So as far as I know, you're not doing anything against Facebook rules, but I'm just gonna put that caveat in there because I'm not a Facebook expert. So um, there is a free version, which will just go into individual Facebook posts and invite people in those. But I, I wanted it to check all of my posts because, um, you know, every post, there's like one or two people who like it that haven't liked my page. So going through and finding all of those would take a really long time and I just have better things to do. So I spent $19.99 on the forever version and let me show you how it works. Let's go to my Facebook page. There it is, Amy Ever After. Okay, and um, this is the icon right here for the Facebook Like Inviter. And if you try to use this on anything other than a Facebook page, it just won't work. So um, we're gonna click it here. And these are the default settings. And um, this I think is, is just so it looks more like a human is doing it. I'm not sure why that's necessary if it doesn't break Facebook's rules, but we're gonna go ahead and, and leave these random pauses in there so that it doesn't look like a computer is doing all of this work. Um, this, I don't want it to do. That means, I don't know, maybe if you have like a, a post that went viral, um, it, it, you don't want it to stop looking for people after, you know, after a little while, you want it to keep going deeper into that post and keep looking for people. So I am not going to click on that. This is the main thing that I'm here for. I want to invite the post likers to like my page. Um, I definitely do not want to auto like it when people have shared my posts and I definitely do not want it to comment when people have, have uh, shared my posts. I like to do that stuff myself. I'm just trying to automate the invites. So that's it. We're going to go to the publishing tools tab. I'm just going to show all of my posts and we're going to click run. And you'll see that it will just open up each post. It will look at who has liked it. It will look at who has not been invited yet and it will invite these people. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward in this video quite a bit because I ran this already this morning and I let it check about 20 posts and it invited about a dozen people. Um, so there's nothing for it to do yet. It has to get uh, more than 20 posts in before you're going to see it inviting anybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. Okay, now you can see that we've gotten to a post where not everyone has been invited to like my page. So um, the script is going ahead and inviting those people, which is very cool. And you should know that I have seen a comment um, in a Facebook group from someone who was using this, um, that if you have a post that has a ton of reactions, it will time out. It will stop clicking more and um, 
it won't get to the bottom of of really really big posts with a lot of reactions i can't confirm this myself i wish i had a post with enough reactions to test it out on i don't um but if that's what you're buying it for if you get a ton of reactions on your posts i cannot guarantee that it will work on all of them so you should just know that um but it seems to be working very well on my posts which you know don't have a, a, a whole lot of reactions if it gets back to a post that does have more than a handful um you know i i know that i do have some that have hundreds i don't think i have any that have thousands um i'll let you know if it if it isn't able to get through those but so far so good now i'm just going to interject here with some information that I've learned um, since I, I've been playing around with this more. I thought that I was done making this video, but then I played with it and um, read some more stuff about it, went to the settings pages, and discovered a couple of interesting things. So if we click on the icon again, first of all, when I mentioned that I wasn't sure why you needed a random pause, um, even though this is okay with Facebook, even though they don't seem to have a problem with this script existing, you will be penalized if you if you uh, i think send out too many invitations in one hour or one day it depends on like who accepts them and other things i'm not sure where the limit is um but slowing it down and randomizing it uh, it all contributes to trying to ensure that you don't get penalized by Facebook and um, you're not stopped from inviting people for a while. So just keep that in mind. If you find yourself getting penalized, you might want to increase these pauses or you know, only run this for a little while at a time, which brings me to my second point. So when I went back and made that first video, I just skipped ahead for the first like 20, 25 pages that it checked because it had already checked those. So it wasn't going to find anybody to invite. But I discovered that there's actually a very simple way around this. So when you go to publishing tools, you can skip ahead to older posts. So let's say that it had already checked my first three pages. This loads. I think 25 posts on each page. So I could go to, here we have page three, I could go to page four, page five. Um, if you don't wanna click on them, you can even just go up here and put in a number. So if I go to page 25 of my published posts, um, let's see how far back that goes. You know, this is very useful if you've been running this thing for a while or if you have some older posts that you know were were very popular and you want to go through those people. Um, personally, I'm not sure how far I would want to go back because if somebody has liked one of my posts recently, then there's a really good chance that they're also going to want to like my page. But if they liked something on a post from like a year and a half ago and then they see me popping up inviting them, they might be like, who the heck is that? So um, let's see. Yeah, the, see going to page 25, that goes back all the way to the end of last year. So that's probably about as far back as I would want to go. But that's very handy if you want to skip just a few pages. So I believe the script is four pages in for me right now. So um, if I were going to start it again, I would start it on page four and then I wouldn't have to wait for it to look through a bunch of posts that it had already looked through. So I'm just going to walk away and let it do its thing. Like it says up there in the instructions, um, you can't do anything else while it's doing this and you shouldn't be using Facebook at the same time. So good excuse to go do other things. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And um, hey, while you're watching this video, why don't you go over to Facebook um, to my Facebook page, Amy Ever After, and like that too. And you can save yourself from being invited by a bot. Thanks so much.